One of the problems that new learners have when learning how to write HTML code is knowing exactly when to indent what they're coding and then exactly how far do you did it and maybe getting everything lined up. The problem with not knowing this is that it causes your code to be a little bit difficult to read. In this example that I'm giving you here, this is the Constitution of the United States file that we've been working on. I have just left aligned everything so that there's no indentations. I've even taken out some white blank lines up here at the top. The question is, when can you put in blank lines for white space or indent your code for white space, all in an effort to make your code more readable? Well, let me show you. There is an extension that we're using now called Beautify. What we're going to do with our code here is just select it all with Control A, and then we will open the command palette. I use the F1 key to do that, and there is the Beautify file. And then you can see instantly the Beautify extension gives us white space in the form of blank lines. It indents all of the contents of the head section, makes it easy to see exactly what's in the head section, and then it indents everything inside of our HTML file. And trust me that as you're learning to write code, this is going to make finding your mistakes a lot easier. Now, sometimes, depending on the width of your window, after you beautify it, you may see ragged alignment in your text. That's simply because your coding pane is too narrow. If we pull this out to where it's wide enough, we can see that everything is lined up just exactly the way that it should be. This will make finding our mistakes a lot easier.